Because I'm a good recruiter. I'm a great recruiter. I'm passionate about it. business. And I heard investments and mortgages and life insurance and recruiting. I got pumped up about investments and mortgages. And I heard life insurance and recruiting. I wanted to throw up. I said, I ain't going to be out of that crap. Ain't no way. I'm going to only do investments and mortgages. But the more I started learning about the remarriage and getting into the business and never missing a meeting, I understood that if the greatest investment plan ain't worth nothing unless you got a great life plan attached with it, especially in the right market. You've got a husband and wife and little kids, and if you wrote a great investment plan and one will die, your investment plan ain't worth nothing. So I started getting into the, okay, well, you know, like the blue shirts is good to you, I mean, you do that. And then as I went out, I realized the only way to ever get free, the only way to ever get rich and maybe one day even get wealthy is to recruit people and grow a business where every one of those reps, licensed reps, are a distribution outlet. Like, you know, Coca-Cola, right? I'm not advertising for Coca-Cola, but wherever you go, if you want one, you can get one. And every time you buy one, they make a little money off of that. And I thought, I want to create my own Primerica distribution vending machine where I can go up and make some life insurance and get a mutual fund and a variable annuity and a mortgage and a legal and a vivid and an ID or whatever, everything, whatever else they bring out to you. And I thought, there's a place for everybody here. I learned that off my uncle, Greg Fitzpatrick, he's always let us know there's a place for everybody here. Whether they want to work with us just to get an education, whether they want to make part-time income, great part-time income. I got part-timers making 50,000, 80 grand a year part-time. Come on. Or if they want to make Prime America number one, baby. Mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. money, big money, grow big business. There's room for everybody. The recruiting pool is unlimited. Just in our base shop alone, we have a doctor. A doctor that makes $300,000 a year works with us in our base shop. We got a lawyer, we got grocery managers, we have engineers, we got airline pilots. I got one guy that's a captain, makes $400,000 a year a job, but he's working with us, making $80,000 a year and ready to quit his job because he's tired of it. He's tired of the job. He's tired of that thumb on his life, on his back. I realize it's an unlimited recruiting point. If I'm willing to do the work, then the rewards are going to come. And the rewards are going to come big. I need to understand what I was recruiting away from. Let me give you an example. I'm recruiting away from limited income. If they're a nurse and they're an eight-year nurse, they're going to make what an eight-year nurse makes, whether they're the greatest nurse in that hospital greatest nurse in the state, whether they're average mediocre or less than mediocre, they're going to get paid what the job pays, not what their work. That's what I was recruiting away from. I was recruiting away from people going to a place every day to work where they're not appreciated and they're treated poorly. I said, I can recruit away from that. I said, I'm recruiting away from limited growth potential. Because where they're at, they got limits on their growth. I'm recruiting away from people living paycheck to paycheck and debt for their whole life. I'm recruiting away from that. I can get passionate about recruiting away from that. I'm recruiting away from people not being able to spend time with their kids and their spouses because your jobs just take everything out of them. And the list goes on and on and on when I'm recruiting away from. And then I started to understand what I was recruiting to. What are you recruiting to when you're recruiting people to Primerica? Well, you're recruiting them to unlimited income potential. If they're willing to do the work, if they're willing to pay the price, unlimited income potential. I'm recruiting them to be a part of a team, a team where people that they work with love them and care about them. And even others that are not even on their team love them and care about them. So I can recruit to that. I was recruiting to a place where you're going to get pushed to grow and 
get uncomfortable. I mean, I used to stutter every single word. My, my biggest fear was to talk, even in a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And I had talked in front of stadium. And it's not stadium. Come on. I was recruiting to where their spouse is always welcomed and cherished, where their kids are always welcomed and cherished. I was recruiting to a place where you can talk about God and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Come you, on. Jesus. Come on. Right. Yes. That's what's up. I was recruiting to a way of life, not just a mediocre life. Yes. I can recruit to all those things. I was recruiting to when I look at a new recruit, like I got a new recruit, Lauren, and there's been numerous times now where I've been working with him, talking to him, and you can see his eyes water up. He gets that look in his eye like, this is the way, man. I'm in the right place. That's what I was recruiting too. When they get it, they get it. Every day, in every walk of life, around the country, around Canada, whether they're a mechanic, a waiter, a school teacher, a lawyer, a doctor, doesn't matter what they do. Pro athlete, doesn't matter. They're praying to God, there's gotta be a better way to make a living. There's gotta be a better way, and you walk right past them and you tell me you love recruiting, but you're not talking to them. Mm -hmm. Think about all the people you walk by that you're not talking to. Why? You gotta get what you're recruiting from and what you're recruiting to and the impact you can have on their life if you recruited them. We're recruiting to a better way. We recruit them not to help them make a better living, but to make a better life. Yes. Recruiting is a mindset. It's not about you. Get That's over right. yourself. Get over it. Oh, what are they going to think about me if I try to recruit them? Oh, it'd be terrible if you actually try to help them make more money and change your life. How awful! <laughs> it's not about you. Get over yourself. Come on. It's about helping them. <laughs> and when you really get that in your heart, you'll wake up every day with the attitude, who am I going to recruit today? Yes. Who am I going to bless today? Whose life am I going to change today? And before you know it, your life changes. That's right. It's just unbelievable. That's how the kingdom in works. July, Glenn's going to challenge us all first. to yes. break the Pride American recruiting record. 50,000 recruits. He's going to make some great announcements over the weekend. But think about this. If you make a decision this weekend, big decisions are made at big events. My office manager, 15 years, Audrey, came up to me last night after hired me. And I said, oh, you always tell us big decisions are made at big events. Yeah, I have to quit. <laughs> Her husband, Will, is an RVP. I've been waiting on her to tell me that I was going to quit. Now Will's got to get his ass to work. It's going to be unbelievable. It's time to take Primerica to the next level. It's time to take Primerica to the next stratosphere. Let's go, baby. See ya. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can I wear your eyes? You deserve to be 